Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your first forecast. Well, it's been over five months since we've had a temperature in the 70s at TF Green Airport, but that streak could come to an end by this weekend, maybe even tomorrow. Let's take a look at some of the late starts we've had making it to 70 degrees in the year. Of course, this year we're not sure yet, although Saturday we have a pretty good chance of ending this nonsense of not making it to 70 degrees. In 2015, it took until April 15th. How about in 2014, April 11th, 2009, April 18th, and the record for getting our first 70 degree reading of the year was May 15th. That happened in 1924. Can you imagine Danielle North's reaction if it took until May 15th to get a temperature in the 70s? I don't think she'd be happy. I wouldn't either. Let's look right now at what's happening in Newport. We don't have temperatures in the 70s, but we do have good visibility. Breeze is starting to get going a little bit. You can see the flags flapping around in the wind, and that will keep the coast a little cooler today. In North Kingstown, we do have some clouds overhead with pretty much dry conditions across southern New England. Now, notice there are a few showers here in western Connecticut. They will be scooting through later this afternoon. A lot of these will tend to fall apart, so most of the afternoon and the evening is actually raining free. There are those winds I was mentioning right now out of the south right now in westerly at 12 miles an hour, 9 miles an hour, Newport, 8 New Bedford, and these will gradually increase today. And it will be a pretty gusty evening along the south coast, especially late tonight through very early tomorrow morning. I think that ends up being a bigger story than the showers that will be rolling through. Temperatures right now, we'll take it. Mid 50s, 55 in Smithfield, 54 Providence. And again, because of those winds out of the south, we have slightly cooler temperatures along the south coast with 51 in westerly, 48 right now on Block Island, 57 for a temperature in the field and you can see the difference you get along the bay here and we're cooler at 48 degrees in North Kingstown. So there is our warm front. The core of this actually stays to the north. So that's why the showers are few and far between, especially this afternoon. They will become a little bit more numerous this evening through around eight, nine o'clock. But again, some of us actually may miss out on these showers altogether. And then once we get past midnight, skies start to clear out. A spotty shower is possible tomorrow, but most of tomorrow is actually rain free and a pretty nice day, especially if we can keep in a bit of sunshine, we could actually get close to 70 for Friday in addition to Saturday. We'll talk more about those Saturday's temperatures in just a second. 46 tonight, getting gusty along the coast with potential winds over 30 miles an hour, especially in Newport, Jamestown, Westerly, even inland. We could get some gusts of 25 to 30 miles an hour. This is Saturday. Most of Saturday is rain free. Here comes our backdoor cold front, which we'll talk about in just a second. That could produce some drizzle Saturday evening into Sunday. Sunday is not a great day with showers and a very chilly day. Then on Monday, unfortunately for the Boston Marathon and the Red Sox game, it does look like a wet time of it. I should say if they're able to play the Red Sox game, a wet time of it on Monday in Boston. So here's that backdoor cold front. This is uh, Saturday afternoon. Boston for the game, the Red Sox game on Saturday afternoon. Cool, so bring the jacket if you're heading to that. Providence, we are very, very close to this front. We may get a pretty decent early afternoon with temperatures around 70 and then quickly dropping into the 40s by the evening. So stay tuned for details on that backdoor cold front on Saturday. Even a shift in timing by a few hours will make a big difference in what happens on Saturday afternoon. There is Sunday, temperatures in the 40s with scattered showers. Again, the rain on Marathon Monday and then temperatures in the low to mid 50s on Tuesday and Wednesday, Danielle. All right, Pete, thank you. Now